Have you ever seen a cowering dog? You know, that dog in the corner that's shivering with its tail like right wrapped underneath its, its private parts. The ears down, like head down, like, you know, cowering or, you know, before its master who's fucking leathered it, like, you know, smashed it in and what have you. The dog pisses all over the show. And the master's like, ah, you disgust me. You dis- Your weakness disgusts me. I'm going to take your fucking nose now. I'm going to rub it. Rub your nose in all that piss. Because you're, it's your fault. It's your fault. Oh, yeah. I can't stand weakness. I can't stand it. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? That this is what we're this is what we're dealing with now. With these with this slot in, this is what we're dealing with. They um I'm just reading something that's been sent to me actually, which is like um on the same theme and it's uh, this guy called it's from a, a guy who's posted, he's an editor of a of a newspaper in Cheltenham apparently. And so he, he he considers himself to be the voice of the people. So he's posted something up there about a family of nine that has just been evicted from their home under the, t- the cruel Tory welfare cap. The only way to deal with the vermin like this is to slash the handouts. Thanks to the Tories, Lee Parker might have to go and get a job and provide for the seven kids he selfishly brought into this world. He may even have to wear a condom the next time he frolics with that ghastly looking beast he's married to. Should have sterilised the benefit scrounging pond scum after the second, since when is seven kids acceptable? So, this, you know, this kind of thing can happen to anybody. If you lose your job, based in today's, you know, economic situation, anybody can lose their job. If you have a stroke, I've got a friend who's an artist, he used to be a 17 stone strapping bloke, Peter Griega. Successful business, had a successful business. Suddenly had a stroke, cut out of nowhere. He can't work now. He's now relying on his on his wife. You know, who's not been with for very long, Sareth. So at any point you can lose your job, and at any point you can have something quite seriously happen to your health, and at some at any point you're going to need welfare, and the welfare is the kind of thing that our ancestors and our forefathers and what have you been fighting for for years. But now we've got this this ideology, which is becoming more popular by the day, of of the way we look at our most vulnerable in society, and like they just can't stand it. Like, Ooh, you're, you're hanging. Don't even want to see you. Don't don't even. Oh, don't even walk past my house. No, it's called it, it's Nazi. It's pure Nazism. This. <laughs> They'll be sterilizing people soon. You know. Have you got a heart? Is what it comes down to. But ultimately, these people who are posting stuff like this need to be outed. Because it's unacceptable. 